I'm Whitney. And I'm Dave. And today we are talking about scaling. Scaling. We're not talking about climbing mountains. Not talking about climbing mountains. No, we're not talking about alligators. <laughs> no, or snakes. <laughs> or snakes. <laughs> what no. else has scales? I don't know. We, we probably Komodo should, dragons. Yeah, we probably should get on with it. Probably should. <laughs> More concrete related. There you go. As you would expect. So scaling um, ASTM C672, honestly, is a test that I really like for a few reasons. Number one, the ASTM is very short and very straightforward. <laughs> and they're... That may seem sound like something silly, but some of these you read them and they're like a PhD dissertation, and it's like you need a philosophy to a degree to try to figure out some of the intricacies, for lack of a better word. Yeah, that's for of sure. The verbiage in the AST. Yeah, that's for sure. A lot of them are multi-boundary so. condition. You know, I mean, this is two. I mean, it's chemical yes. plus temperature right. plus freezing. Right. So yeah. Whitney just gave me a quick up brief of this, uh, just to remind me what exactly this test is. We don't run it super often. Well, but I, yeah, and I, I usually don't see it. I see right. the Right, he results. sees the results. It's a very but, straightforward test, though. But it is. I guess having heard the description, what I could love about it is it's it's very Colorado. It's very Colorado. It's very Colorado. You have a piece of what could be a pavement. Right. You put some chemical salts on it. Right, calcium chloride mixed with water, so not anything too caustic. Yeah, just much like you would put on a driveway right. or a highway or whatever. Right. You stick it in, you freeze it. Freeze it for 16 to 18 hours. Yeah, just like... Thaw it for 6 to 8 hours. Yeah, just like a daily cycle. Right. Just like a cold night right. and then sunshine. And right. Cold night and then sunshine. Right. And then you take a look at it and see how your driveway, excuse me, how your sample's right. Do, right. doing. Yeah, and you just, you, the scales for me, I feel like there's a little, things are up, for, a little bit up for interpretation, although they do a decent job, like no scaling is a rating of zero, slight scaling, and it gives you a depth, yeah. um, no aggregate visible. So it's, I mean, it has a decent scale, but I mean, depending on who's looking at it, I feel like you could get a slightly different number, and so I feel like there could be variability in the results. Yeah, zero is obvious. Zero is quite straightforward. Five is pretty obvious. Yeah, severe <laughs> scaling. So that only leaves two, three, But then one, that's two, still, three, four. That's uh, still a lot of numbers though. Yeah. To, you know, and granted, I mean, you would assume someone is, if it's a two, maybe someone could see it as a three or maybe it's a two and a half. I, that being said though, I mean, I feel like this is one of the more real world ASTMs out yeah. there, a lot of them, not a lot. Some of them just, I feel like, are not mimicking field conditions as well as others. And this one, I feel like, like you said, is very Colorado, like does a great job of what a freeze thaw cycle. Like the 666, the samples don't even really thaw. Like, why is it called freeze thaw? <laughs> it's, they still, what, what did they get up to? Like 32, yeah, I think 40 degrees? 40 degrees. Still but... frozen. Yeah. Still ice around it. It's not thawing. <laughs> this is thawing. Anyways. Yeah. So, yeah. So, you know, some of the ASTMs are more material theoretical. They're, right. They're after a single parameter of the material. Leave or this it or to that. David to say it in the yeah. most diplomatic way. Well, God bless him. Yeah, you know. <laughs> They can be BS, they can be bad science, but sure. <laughs> you know. And the 666, we have said many times, is appropriately coded. Yeah, um. but, no doubt. <laughs> but but this has a nice field feel it to does. it. It does. It does. seems to have be a reasonable simulation of what happens in the field. Right. And, you know, and it's, you know, it's things the homeowner worries about. Oh, absolutely. They want to, don't want to see this what I call leaf spalling. It looks like fall, sure. fall leaves peeling off the surface. Which is so common, especially in residential pavements. Without a doubt. You know, sometimes they're over finished, sometimes the free slog gets to faster. Right. right. But that's the kind of thing you can tell of, you know, of the average homeowner. <laughs> right. So, you know, water scaling means this right. and heavy this and right. that. So it's a nice, could be a nice layperson's test. It's for sure, I think, a nice field of Oh, absolutely. And you don't need complicated equipment. You need like a chest freezer, a couple of buckets to put the concrete in and calcium chloride, which you can order on Amazon. Um, <laughs> just checked because we need to order some more. Yeah. Um, the other thing, though, that I really like about this test is you can pause it at any point. So it's mm. it's like very representative of the field, but also a little bit forgiving for people who actually want to take a weekend. 
that work in the concrete lab. So you just pour off your calcium chloride solution when it's thawed, and then you put it back in the freezer and you are freezing. <laughs> <laughs> freezing. <laughs> I thought it was funny. You're it's freezing the freezing. You're, test. Free, you're, you're pausing or halting the test, though. I liked it. Anyways, you're pausing or halting the test, which is nice. And then when you're ready, you know, you just put your calcium chloride solution back on and you start it back up. So, which again isn't atypical to feed all that. Right, you know, absolutely. So, looking in a cut out of March, I mean, we get some. Oh, absolutely. We get some nice days without, you know, a Absolutely. Time. So, yeah, it's again it. Pretty much representative. Pretty representative. So I gotta give this one two thumbs up. I know, right? Me too. Yeah. I'm, I'm no like, complaints on this guy. I'm liking this one. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much for joining. Um, like, subscribe, ding that bell for notifications. Go concrete. Yes, guys.